Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here and once again it is time for a shoulder day vlog. Uh, we started off with the strict standing press. Um, I want to be clear on this because a lot of people are like, oh you don't walk through all at the top. Um, first of all, it's just the way my, my elbows and everything are. Uh, to live with it is what it is. Plus, that doesn't really matter because I'm doing this for uh, my front delts, side delts, and upper chest. So, not a big deal. Doing this bodybuilder style, we're doing a very, very wide grip. I uh, do a lot of pausing on the chest, especially this last set that I did. Um, I, I got way more reps and I realized how much I've been slacking on uh, some of the overhead pressing, right? When I got to this third set because I took it to failure. And then I realized, man, I'm really holding back. Um, because again, it was even cleaner than these first two sets, right? I didn't lay back quite as much. So these first two though, we just did our, our six reps, which is, you know, about what I've normally been getting five, maybe six sometimes, right? When I've done the standing, and I think I'm gonna stick with the standing for just a bit. Um, I do feel like the seated looks better for the camera. But there comes a point where we go, do we, do we need to have it look good for the camera? Do I need the most effective exercises? And I just feel like for me, really pushing um, these sets with a strict standing is probably going to be the way to go. The thing is that we need to pause at the bottom. And, and this is the point I make to people. If you're trying to really use this to enhance your aesthetics, uh, instead of, hey, can I move the most weight, you know, the way everyone wants to do it, starting strength style, you need to grip it wide. Yes, you're going to be a hair weaker. You need to pause on the chest. You need that deep stretch because, again, this is in a way almost a variation of the incline bench, right? Uh, it's not because it's a little more shoulder dominant, a little less chest, but again, it will carry over to your incline. It will make your incline stronger. The incline is an absolute beast for aesthetics. Okay, so in this case, notice again, we got really clean here. And I think what I'm going to have to do is focus on all of my sets of it looking like this final set. But that's the thing, you know, with this type of training, that final set is our money maker, right? But again, we managed to get 10 and then it just stuck. That was failure because I couldn't do another rep, but puts us in a good spot. So I think the next goal is going to be next we can come in and do this and see if we can get 10 for all three sets. Right? Keep building that area up. Keep building that area up. Uh, get leaner. Get more jacked. All right. Uh, laterals, I feel like I went a little too heavy last time. Right? We went a little too heavy trying to chase that tension. So today we dropped it back down to 33s. Tried to focus on smooth, clean form. I managed to get three sets of 12 with this. Everything, everything after the overhead press was like 12 reps, right? We managed to get 12s on everything. Uh, pretty much all I could do, because again, notice they kind of stick at the bottom. Again, got a really good pump from all this. Really good pump. Um, and like I said, it feels like this week the waistline is carrying a hair more water, but it doesn't matter because I'm doing all the fasted cardio. I know I'm in a deficit. In fact, I had a pretty decent deficit on Saturday, so it's kind of interesting that happened. Um, but I'm not worried. Uh, why? Because we keep getting leaner, it's going to get tighter, right? Keep getting leaner, it will continue to get tighter when all the way around. Uh, so just keep keep pushing, keep pushing. But again, I'm noticing uh, I'm getting more jacked and more lean every single week. People are noticing. So we're just going to keep doing what we're doing, right? Keep doing what we're doing. We're winning. We are winning. Okay. Uh, and again, know that as long as I keep losing fat, doesn't matter if I'm holding a little water around the waist. doesn't matter whatever's happening. It's going to get tighter and tighter and tighter. We just have to keep losing the fluff. You know, I've got a lot of people who have said, Coach, man, you need to quit getting leaner. I mean, this is, this is, uh, you're not trying to compete in bodybuilding. I'm like, true, but it's good for my business. It's good for my outreach. Um, it also is how you shut up haters. Okay. Because notice how many of them now they're trying to just come all over my channel and stuff, right? They're, they're causing problems. This is why. People who hate me know that they have officially lost. And so, you know, they're going to do whatever it takes to try to disrupt that. Because they're losing. You know, so, so again, this tells me everything I need to know. Right? I know that I'm on the path to success when that starts happening. All this is about to, to blow up. Right? 
I keep getting more and more jacked and more lean, keep improving. Uh, it's going to be undeniable that that, that power lifter blah turns into shredded aesthetic God. Who still reps out 315 on the bench press all day long. Can squat 500. We're going to get back to the 500, right? Then what? Again, comes a point where when you when you keep up consistently applying your work, it becomes undeniable. Uh, so what do we do here? Three sets of 12 on laterals. Um, then I did the, so I want you guys to notice what we do. People will say, well, this is so similar to the, the, uh, the lateral raise, but it really isn't because notice we exaggerate turning the pinky out. Why? Well, because this is super strict and then when we really turn that pinky out on these at the top, it lights up that posterior delt, okay? So at this point, really, I just need to keep bringing up my arms and chest. I feel like even my shoulders are pretty much on point. Notice how they look. And as I get leaner, they're just they're going to look really, really good. Um, I'm doing all this because we need to keep them coming along. But I feel like at this point, my side and rear delts have caught up, right? All of that's caught up. Uh, so really, it's just going to be arms and chest. Interestingly enough, I had someone in the comments say they feel like my lower chest is a weakness. Maybe from a... <sighs> From a competitive bodybuilding perspective, if I wanted to do some sort of open bodybuilding, maybe. From an aesthetic perspective, no, I don't think so. That, that upper chest is really everything. If you're chasing like to really much the Hollywood type physique, which is what I think appeals to most guys, uh, now the upper chest is more important, right? But in my case, it's got to be more arms, get the waistline smaller, tighter, and we're good. But we're still going to hit the delts. Delts are critical. Delts are absolutely critical for, for aesthetics. All right, then we finish up with the neck extensions. Um, again, beneficial here. Uh, and notice I don't train the front. You know, that keeps coming up. People are like, well, what about the downsides? I'm only training the, the uh, extensors, right? We're not training the front and sides. Uh, this is for injury prevention. Really, for anything... This is, you know, if I get in a car wreck, if I get hit, something like that, um, this is beneficial, All right? I'm, I'm doing this mostly as an injury prevention thing. I'm doing it because I sleep wrong. As I get older, you sleep wrong. You get horrible cricks in your neck. You get headaches. This resolves all of that, All right? This is mostly just a health thing at this point. I don't think it's going to do much to enhance aesthetics, maybe because of the upper traps. But again, that's why we're doing it. And so we finish it up on shoulder day. Uh, but overall, super, super happy with today's workout. Uh, couldn't be more pleased. Uh, the overhead press went better than I expected. So I hope it's been informative, and I'll talk to you guys and gals next time.